and it's a brand new day and a brand new background. To those of you watching the pod, got some bases over here, ad ad over here. I'm feeling great. You guys, welcome to another episode of the Scott and Ian Show on the SBL Podcast. Yes, indeed. And I got to tell you, today you are in for a real treat. Not that you're not normally, <laughs> but today we are bringing you an interview from 2022 Base Space, which was an online event that we did a number of months ago, and I got to interview the great Richard Bona. So we are going to play that interview for you today. He's going to talk about his approach to music, his approach to playing, grooving, soloing, his dependence and his absolute value on singing and internalizing music and melody his upbringing, what he's working on now. It's really, really cool. And that event, actually, where Richard was, was in Italy at Mark Base headquarters. And it was very cool because Mark Base, Marco at Mark Base, invited Nick and Dan, part of the SBL crew, out to be part of this event where they launched a brand new line of amplifiers, the MB58R in Pescara, Italy. I probably shouldn't have tried to do the accent, but it's all good, dude. So this line is comprised of the the brand's initials, Marco's age and the letter R for revolution. It includes 20 new ultra light cabinets, 20 of them, eight combos, and Richard Bona was in town to kick off the event and to play a sold out show on the beach. And while he was chilling, we got to spend an hour with him talking about it, and it was amazing. So thanks to Marco and to everyone at Mark Base and to Nick and Dan from SBL for getting out there and making that happen. Super cool. And I think you're really going to love it. So that's enough of me. Let's get over to the interview. So I am sitting here with none other than Richard Bona, Grammy winning jazz and Afro pop musician, band leader, musical director, singer, composer, soloist, multi-instrumentalist, and of course, bass player. Over the years, he's worked with legends such as Herbie Hancock, Quincy Jones, Mike Stern, Joe Zawinul, Harry Belafonte, Stevie Wonder, George Benson, Bill Evans, Pat Metheny, and Bobby McFerrin, just to name a handful, and has become a legend himself. Richard Bona, thank you so much for your time. It's so fun to see you and to get to speak with you, man. I'm a big fan. Um, let me ask you this first. So I know that you grew up surrounded by music and musicians in your family. And when you were a small child banging on the balafon, at what point did you know that you wanted to do music for your career? From day one, actually, you know, when I started banging on those, you know, balafon and uh, I mean, on the balafon that my grandfather uh, 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 when it kind of uh, built for me, and uh, I just, I just felt like you know when music gets to you, you know, you know, and uh, yeah. or when music chooses you, you know, that's it. If I could put it this way, and uh, and no way out. That's the worst drug you could get, you know, because uh, <gasps> and no patches or a doctor that could <laughs> cure you from that. So. <laughs> And so, uh, so I, I knew from the from the beginning. I knew right away as a kid. I knew this is what I liked most. Yeah. And how old were you when you had that confidence in you? I probably I, I was three or four. <sighs> you know. That's crazy. <laughs> you could be a kid, That's but wild. you know, you know, you know when this, you you go like this mm. is. This is a sweet candy, man. This is very good. <laughs> this is, it's the best candy. <laughs> yeah, man. This is the best candy, and you hold on to it, man. And uh, yes, I right away, and I that, that's what I did, man. Morning, all day, night time, you just see me banging on the bathroom. The sound of yeah. it and everything just spoke to me, and uh, somehow just uh, brought a lot of confidence into me you know and i was yes. more quiet you know i felt like mm. i found my best friend now you know because i was <laughs> i was just looking for something and uh, right in that moment i knew this is gonna be my best friend do you remember when you got paid for your first gig or do you remember how old you were when you got money for the first time you you played music First time I ever been paid was in the church because uh, my folks were church musicians, and uh, we, they were not paid. And then uh, I brought kind of a revolution when I was eight years old because people started hiring me to go play and sing for weddings and stuff. So I Amazing. have a choice now into going 
either going to play in a church and not getting paid or go to to a private gig, I will call it, <laughs> in a village for <laughs> weddings, yes. for all those purposes, where you get paid. But it wasn't a good pay. It wasn't a big pay. It was a small pay. But still, it was a pay. It pays to pay. Right. You know? Yes. And then uh, and, and I went to see the, 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 the priest, and I told the priest, listen, man, if you want me to be steady here, you know, uh, at a church, you need to, you know, you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta, you, you gotta make a move. You gotta <laughs> make a, a right move. <laughs> you shook down the priest at eight years old. I shook, <laughs> shook down him down, dude. I told, I told that Belgian priest, I told him, listen, you know, because he, he he got mad. He, he started getting mad, going like, you know what? Yeah. He told my grandfather, the kid cannot do this. This is, this is the, you know, a gift. Is given by God, so you have to give this back to God. I say, okay, cool, but why are you collecting money? Yeah, okay, yeah man. You know, I told him, listen, let's cut down to the taste here. You give me some, I'm gonna be here at the church. And finally, he started to pay us. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. That was like the first time I kind of, uh, I kind of got paid. <laughs> oh eight years old just shaking down the priest dude it's great i mean yeah you know you i i have a lot of people that i know in the church music world and you know and they say god you know i feel like we should get paid but maybe we should do this out of the goodness of our hearts i say let let's have let's have the pastor get up and deliver sermons out of the goodness of his heart or let's just let people do that a volunteer yeah, to give the messages amazing. we'll see how yeah. long that lasts <laughs> It's very compromising, and and it's a little, you know, you never know. It's one of those situations where you don't know how to handle the thing because we're the church, you know. We kind of yeah. get everybody emotional oh, about it for you to go and yes. ask money about it. But you know, I understood right away. This is a gig, man. This yeah. is a gig. You know, this is this is gonna yeah. be my job. This is gonna be my, you know, my bread and butter and my everything. You know, so if I'm gonna do it, and I'm still the same way. If I'm gonna do it, hey, man. You got to do it, but pay me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, and I mean, it, it's amazing because I think at eight years old, you probably already knew for half of your life or more than half of your life when you were eight, you had been devoting your life to this thing. Right. And oh, that what, is worthy. And that's worthy of compensation. That's yeah, what man. I did, you know, practicing every day. I mean, we call it practice, but I, I never felt like actual practicing or going to to do a job i just i just i'm just passionate i've been passionate yeah. about it and still even more now yeah of course well and it, it brings me to want to ask you about your singing and about your solo concept because we've all seen the youtube videos we've all seen the shows of you playing pyrotechnically and singing along with what you're playing and obviously you singing singing songs as a band leader um, as a solo artist and your solo concept maybe just your musical concept in general is obviously influenced by your voice your singing if a musician or bass player is terrified of singing or thinks they can't sing or that they maybe don't have to sing to be a great musician how would you sell them on singing well singing comes from your from your body directly yeah you know and, and it's something that is related to your spirit and body and uh, and the soul and you know uh, to be detached from that already is uh i don't think it's a good thing so mm. you play like you sing singing as such of a unique that's how it's our print yeah. that's how you recognize a person so i think I always encourage young musicians and musicians in general to play and sing, you know, and not only you get to know yourself and have a conversation with yourself and uh, you get to also know your instrument because, you know, singing kind of helped me to master my neck right here. Yes. My And my left hand. Because by singing all the time, you start recognizing the note without even singing. You see, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Absolutely. exercise. By singing so much, by playing. 
ti tu di ru pa ti pa tu tu pa tu di ti tu tu di di ru tu tu ti tu ru pa ti pa tu di tu di ru pa tu di ru tu di ru di ru di ru di ru pa tu di ru di ru di ru so that that gives you an amazing tool <laughs> like I'm singing yes. without my instrument but I could recognize immediately you, my position you're visualizing where, yes so it works vice versa are you singing or while I'm playing so I don't need to play actually to practice today I don't I don't need mm. to have my bass to practice if I heard something I could practice I could play right instantly without me having you know basically almost doing like a nail guitar but it's another way of practicing also so you adding many other layers to your craft yeah absolutely and I, I've had students before who, when I encourage them to pitch match, sing their scales, sing along to the things that they play, they're, they're terrified. They won't do it. They don't consider themselves a singer. So no, I would love to know for to, anybody. You don't have to be a singer. That's the thing. Yeah, you don't yeah, have to yeah. be a singer to do that. You just have yes. to do it in order to recognize. It's almost like a poor sweet game. Hmm. So, so like a person, you know, you, 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 you're following something you know those guys on the bicycle on Olympic games where you have to kind of match the that's the same exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so uh, uh, you don't have to you, you don't have to be Ella Fitzgerald or, 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 or any other singer it's just uh, it's an amazing exercise and a way to discover you you know I love having conversation with myself hmm. to have to talk to yourself don't be afraid to be alone and don't be afraid to talk to yourself and by mm. using it as, as almost having a conversation with yourself and you get to know yourself, mm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> How about this? So you, you've convinced someone that they don't have to be a singer. Okay. They don't have to be Ella, right? They don't have to be Harry Belafonte. Mm. Uh, what is the first thing that you would suggest someone to sing? Just anything you play. You take a note, what do you play on the bass? I'm playing Jingle Bell on bass, okay? Yes. Sing Jingle Bell now, and playing at the same time. And match that, match good. <laughs> <laughs> and try to harmonize yeah. too, you know, and yes. play once when you start elevating this thing and you play one voice on the bass. And, and you know, you're adding something, you know, another tool to your to your game here, you know. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, too, just thinking about how important that is for phrasing. Right. Like as you're singing that you have a specific way you phrase, you have a specific way that you break out into another alternate melody. Right. And you're really encouraging people to discover that in themselves. Yes. Mm. And, and you start you start with simple things. Then the, the thing is, people, people have less. Almost like they don't have patience anymore. I get mm. master classes these days. People don't want to start, you know, a kid when a kid grows up. They start almost like, you know, on their knees right here. And then you, st you <laughs> see they're standing up. They could barely stand up. And you will fall many times. Yeah. How, do you want to How do you want to succeed without you falling? Falling is good. Making yeah. mistakes or making mistake is good. You know, yes. you got to make mistakes in order to to reach a promised land. You know, if I can call it that way. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah in order to you know get ready to fall and if you never fail hmm. you don't want to fall <laughs> yeah the day you fall if you never fail then that will be the last fall you ever <laughs> the first and the last fall <laughs> so I the think first and the last time yeah yeah it's worth trying and uh, and trying excellence you need to always remember one thing excellence is repetition hmm 
You want to be good Ooh, I love at something? That. You want to be good at doing something? Oh. Do it all the time. Do it oh. all the time. Richard, say it again, be man. Say it again. What is it? Excellence is repetition. Yeah. You know? Anything yeah. in life you want to pursue, just you want to be a good fisherman in here in Pescara, go to the damn river. Go get that fish every day. 20 years from now, trust yeah. me. You'll be the master of Pescarian master <laughs> fishing. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, you know, that it's I, wraps. And you know, all the way out there, you know, I, I think that's that's what it is, you know. Just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And do I'm it, and, and don't do quit. It, and do it. And you cannot quit. Mm -hmm. If you want you pursuing mm -hmm. something, you can't quit. You know, ain't no way mm -hmm. uh, there's not a way out there for quitters. You know, I always tell people, you know what? I will be here until I win. Hmm. Yeah. I will be here until I win. That's, <laughs> if you get that, that, you're in that mindset all the time. I'm not worried, man. Sky That's incredible. Cool. That's also so much, so much nicer sounding and, and more positive than I'll be here till I die. I'll be here till I win is yeah. great. That's a great yes, sense. I win, man. Because everything that yeah, is, man. Everything that is between in our lives, we can talk about it. You know, it's not just about base or people think. You know, mm. life is a, it's a, it's, a, it's an amazing path. You know, and it's a winning it path all the times. You know, winning <laughs> side all the times. Yes. So why me worry? Because when I came here, when <laughs> we came here, the day the the first day you came here. My friend, you came here naked. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you had nothing. You had no headphones. You had no Zoom. You had nothing. You came nothing. all red, all naked. You know. <laughs> and, yes. And guess what? The day we go, we go back with nothing again. <laughs> so anything that happened between the day we enter this place and the day we go out, we actually it's all it's 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 profit. Why yeah, you right. worry? You know, it's yeah. all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's gravy. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. gravy. You know, we hear yeah. Mark Bezos. Yeah, it's going to be time to time. We tell, oh, it's difficult. I have to wake up early in the morning. I have to. But there is not, there is not a perfect path out there. There is not a perfect so path true. that's going to be smooth all the time and beautiful. And all. No, it doesn't exist. Trust me. It's going to be bumpy. You just have to yeah. choose which bumpy way you want to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's life lessons with Richard Bona today. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's great, man. It's yeah, great. Man. Uh, let me let me ask you about this tune. Uh, on your YouTube channel, there is a performance of you doing Bilongo. You and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly Bilongo. Yeah. Um, but it is such a wonderful example of your musical freedom and you're singing and grooving so hard and instead of maybe singing along with all the things like playing a solo you're singing a song over you playing a ferocious pocket groove on your own with no one else so I would love if you could speak to the development of that freedom to play such a syncopated bass line, yeah. uh, going along with being the singer and carrying the entire vocal weight. Do you have a process? Did you ever have a process of getting one down before the first? Or how did you manage it's, to merge those two things? It's a very easy way to process things. It's to groove. Hmm. Okay, the, hmm. the, the groove is the center, is the pillar of all yeah. of those things. Whatever happens around, if the groove ain't there, we'll just be there. <laughs> right. You know, it's just, yeah, it's yes. out there, you know. But uh, by you, by you centering everything into the groove, and mm -hmm. uh, anything that happens around it will sound beautiful. Because yes. basically you have that pillar there. That's the... That's what holds the, the building right there. That's a centerpiece. So my bass playing on that uh, on that piece, Belongo, I'm trying to, I always trying to keep the 
the groove alone like and telling people all the time whatever you do around if we don't have a reference point if you don't have a reference point anything you could do could just be i don't even hear because i could place it right. anywhere and and and, and and find some, uh, you know, but once you have a reference point and remember music is the perfect science. Mm. Anything in music is, a, we, we're talking about when I say perfect science, better than nothing is accurate than music. Hmm. For things, numbers, I disagree. Because if I give you 10 divided hmm. by three, you will not find me a perfect Right? That's true. Yes. Get the right. number. I give you 10 divided by 3. I want to be hmm. perfect right here. We're going into 3, 3, yeah. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Right there, it's, not, it's no longer perfect. <laughs> you know? Right. When we t you take a chord, this is the chord. You move hmm. this finger, it's no longer the same chord. Already mm -hmm. changed. It's like tuning. It's 440. It's not 441. We, we, we right here. <laughs> Right. The move right here. It's no longer the same. If you hear right, and you sing jingle bell, jingle, that's good. Now, if you sing jingle bell, jingle bell, yeah, you in, but you're not really in. And we detect it <laughs> right. right away. Yes, we do. We detect it right away. So we're dealing about a perfect science. When you go, We hide. We still hit. No matter yep. what happened. <laughs> now we grew it, you know, because yes. we, we have that center, that element right here that keeps us yes. getting perfect. Yeah. Mm. So, and once we move out of it, we're no longer there, man. We're no longer together. Ah, yeah. Groove is a, that's right. Grooving is like we're walking with. It's like being with friends, man. Walking on the street, you know, we're having, you know, we're like together. You know what I mean? We together. Together. One of them, yeah, 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 and break a wind chill on the street. Right there, you are. You know, <laughs> you just yeah, you're out of a temple, man. You know, <laughs> you can't be wrong. With the, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, I heard you say in an interview uh, once that you're able to have a musical connection with great musicians almost instantly on stage or in the studio. And do you feel like the aspect that allows that instant language connection, do you think that that's groove? Listening, you know, and I teach that too, because, you know, I, for two years I was teaching at NYU. And uh yeah. And I came to kind of implement that into young players that are playing very loud today. I say, yeah. why do you need to be this loud? If you're already mm. this loud, how do you want to listen to what the guy who was playing with you or was supposed to play with you? How are you going to hear what right. he's doing? In order for you to connect with him, you need to listen to what he's doing and vice versa. Mm. So it comes to mm. listening. What do you think the biggest uh, roadblock for someone that isn't listening? What's the block? If you're not listening to the other one, you can't play with him. Mm. <laughs> not listening to yeah. the drummer, you know where you're going to play with him. I've been on stage sometimes. I get on stage with some drummer. They get there and put the wax in, the, in their ears. So, <laughs> <laughs> by you. I won't name anybody, but by you putting the wax in your ears, it's like going underwater, underwater, and me standing on the surface. So how, right. how do we want? How do you want to grow with me if you're already with the wax and under? So, you know, we need to be in the same place yeah. again. We need to be in the same place to be able to groove. So I think yeah. listening is a, yes. it's, it's a, it's a big part of it. Listening, you know, and just uh, and comping, is an act of love. Mm. People tend these days to comping less, but comping is an act of love. Preparing a beautiful oh, for the that. soloist and stuff is an act of love and, and friendship, uh, you know? And uh, Yes. 
and uh, we need to embrace that as a, as a blessing. It's, it's, it's an amazing part of the music, you know, for yeah. a solo to sound beautiful or in order to have a, a wonderful, the company should be there. The comping should be there always. A beautiful comping supports a lot. Man, that is one of my favorite sentences that I've heard all day. Com Did you say that comping is an act of love? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. It's that's such a lovely thought, yeah. right? That comping, you're supporting, you're reacting, you're listening. Yeah. I guess I'm putting my hands on a, a fake keyboard yeah. here. But when I think about comping, right, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe a piano player accompanying your bass solo. Yeah. Um, but but it happens everywhere. Right. And in and in a lot of instances, the bass is always comping. It's always comping. right. Yeah. Most of the time, bass is always <laughs> comping. So. Comping, yeah. a good comping is act, it's an act of love. I believe, you know, a Ugh. melody can fly. It gives so much, uh, it gives a lot of power and a lot of weight to the melody, you know? Yes. Yes. That's right there. That's that's music. Because you get a yes, support, it is. and when you get the more you get a support like that, it gives you right. it gives you wings, man. A singer or artist. Oh makes you want to fly you know so mm. I, I i am going to remember that phrase comping is an act of love forever that was really <laughs> really a gift it's really a gift richard Thanks, man i mean so lovely that's a lovely thought I, I i would also love to ask you about your musical directing um i do a bit of mding myself i'm really passionate about it i've worked under a lot of different mds who have really brought me along different styles of MDing, right? There's all kinds of ways you can do it. And I know you were Harry Belafonte's MD for a while. Um, and if anybody watching doesn't know musical director, not medical doctor, right? <laughs> you could have been his medical doctor too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm talking about <laughs> musical direction. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts about leading a band and what you learned from being an MD. Uh, leading, I, I don't even... I don't even think leading is something you could just, you don't make it up. I think you just, you just born a leader. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a quality that is, is there, could be hidden for a long time. Mm. But uh, as a kid, I, I started to just lead bands at the church. I was, I was leading people that were 70 years old or something. I was seven, eight years old. That's not, <laughs> nobody told me to lead these folks. It's just just happened to to be there and tell them what each of them should be doing and in order to 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 have something that sounds good and uh yes leading needs patience you know you need a lot of patience you need a, a, a beautiful tool on how to communicate with people and uh and be patient with people you know because hmm. uh it's a part where you need to get to a result, you know? And sometimes it's not an yes. immediate result. It takes time. Right. It takes time. Music takes time to, it takes time to put a band together and, and, and have it sound good and have people understand. And we, we make mistakes sometimes. It's not, a, I won't call it mistakes. You know, I choose a direction and after a while I'm like, mm, you know, like when we were building the bass uh, during the conception of uh, Kilimanjaro, with, with Marco, mm. and I came to Pescara here so many times, you know, because I was finally, I go back <laughs> yes. home and I'm like, oh no, I don't like, finally, I made that choice. Then two days later, I'm yeah. like, no, I don't think so. Uh, right. Hey, I go yeah. back again in Pescara. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> we need to change this, let's have this, or let's have this more. But, you know, conducting is, uh, but it's a very rewarding, uh, 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 position also because when you get to listen to what you were prepared before and all the stuff, you know. Uh, uh, yes. I used to sometimes I was like, wow, I felt emotional on stage with Harry Belafonte. I was like, wow, Whew. 
it feels good to to listen to this now you know yes yes it, if you could think about a trait that you would want in a bass player say you were building a band and you weren't the bass player and you were hiring a bass player what is the first trait that you look for somebody was willing to groove somebody was yes. willing to be the pillar and yes. somebody was willing to you know to support that would be hmm. the yeah you know absolutely because that's in a yeah in an organigram of music every person has a role okay i had a session yeah. with drummers once at nyu I had nine, nine drummers with me because sometimes they would direct me to a drums department or to work with them so sure. a guy that had nine nine kids to work with they were all relatively good you know they know the basics and the foundation the, the fundament of, of drums and all that stuff you know i come from percussion playing too so because my grandfather was a percussion player so what i did yeah. i said listen we got two hours today guys i want you guys to warm up for one hour and i'm gonna walk away and i come the next hour and walk with you guys. They thought I went out. I didn't go out. I went ah, to the head yeah. of studies, uh, the guy who was the head of studies of jazz department, because I could see them from the office, but they couldn't see <laughs> yes. them. Yeah. And by watching them, all they were doing, they were all playing leaks. Mm, None of yes. them were, were playing like like a steady groove. Everybody right. was just like, <laughs> all playing high things and stuff. So I came back there and I told them, guys, I've been watching you guys for, for about an hour. And I realized one thing, none of you guys is laying down a groove. When I say laying down a groove, laying down a simple straight up groove i heard nothing yes so i'm gonna tell you guys one thing if you're gonna be a drum or you want to be a drum you want to be a drum the drum in that organization and any kind of music you can name them rock and roll reggae disco funk whatever gospel uh jazz when the singer or the, somebody counts, when they give you that count, you know what you're going to do? You're going to groove. When they call you one, groove. two, a one, two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. You have to, it's, <laughs> if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's punk or reggae, one, no. That's you. You grooving. Any yes. of this music. If somebody counts, and you start playing what I saw you playing here, it's not going to work. <laughs> and my other You're question dead. is, if you never practice groove, what makes you mm. groove? You can groove. Excellence oh, is that's... repetition. We get back again. To the yes. If you yes, ever indeed. groove, if this is your practice all the times, what makes you think you can actually groove? just truth bombs just indictment from richard bona today <laughs> it's so true yeah. it's so true be a yes. drummer, you got a man i've been on i've been on tour with some master some drummers like steve gag you see yes. him at the rehearsal steve is like when i went on tour first time with him he was in his 60s oh you see steve got on stage <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's how he does his sound check. Oh, Even at the yeah. sound check, he is grooving because Steve God knows he... when James Taylor <laughs> counts one, two, three, four. 
That's why he's t- he's, yeah. he's got a groove. That's why he gets caught. That's how he gets the highest call. That's why Paul Simon's calls Steve Gadd. That's why oh, he, calls. he wants a drummer, he will call Steve Gadd. There's, yes, you indeed. Know, if you go to count, even myself, I can one, two, one, two, three, but you stop. Now imagine all what of the bands doing? doing the same right. thing too, because they could be doing the same thing too. <laughs> right. want to listen to that. Sure, yes. <laughs> no, nobody wants to listen to that, right? <laughs> so, you know. Uh, yeah, it, it, incredible. Yes. And I love uh, excellence is repetition. I love that thought that if you never practice groove, what makes you think you can groove? Ooh, it's scathing and so true. It's so true. Yeah. Richard, are you in Italy right now? Are you at Mark yeah, Base? Yeah, we at Base now. We 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 are doing our revolution today. You know, it's out. You know, yeah, a brand new speaker and a brand new technology. Yeah, and uh, it's wonderful. You Can know? you talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I mean, it's can you talk about your your amplifier and your bass yeah, a little bit? Yeah, the too? amplifier was it's already three years old, the little Mark Ninja, but the many orders uh, amps that uh, Marco came up with here, but. Uh, the news is uh, the revolution on speakers, you know, how eco-friendly the speaker is and also how light the speaker is. Yes. And, uh, it's amazingly light. And uh, when I saw what Marco was developing here with this speaker, I'm like, wow, this, this is going to change. This is, a, I mean, this is a huge change in a, in a bass world. So, and... Uh, you just have to come and see it and uh, and try it and kept, oh man. and the speaker kept the sound because that was always a problem. We think all oh, the wood should mm. be there to kind of have the composure and uh, and the point and and the sound and, and the focus mm. and you know it's a bass. We need to you need to have that rumble and that no actually yes. now with new technologies we don't actually need to have like some heavy material to keep. The bass having that point, so and uh, the material is really light, and the sound is the same. The sound is even better, so I'm looking forward to it, Ugh. and I'm using it for the first time too tonight on stage. So, I can't wait. oh man, wow, you got a gig tonight. It's... Well, well, congratulations and good luck on the gig. And you have a bass as well that Marco has built for yeah, you. Yeah, three right? bases actually. We have the Kimandu, we have the Kilimanjaro. And uh, in that Kilimanjaro series, we have a F1 Kilimanjaro too, which is the, mm. yeah. And uh, my, they, they, did a, they did an amazing job, you know, and uh, and, the, and the good thing is uh, Marco got the team locally here, you know, the, the factory is actually, it's actually here on the, on, on our lowest floor here. So it's easy to communicate with people and uh, the technicians and stuff. So uh, it's coming out great. It's really coming out great. And uh, Incredible. amazing things surround himself with amazing team here in Pescara. And uh, <laughs> it's show time tonight. Let's light up, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, I, you've been so generous with your time. I don't want to keep you much longer. If I, if I may ask you one Please. more question, um, something that I just notice about you when I see you play, when I see you interviewed, you are so comfortable in your own skin and with your artistic voice. And what would you say to someone starting out who is maybe struggling to find their artistic voice? That struggling is good. You know, mm. and- we can't reject struggling. Through struggling, hmm. we need to struggle to get somewhere. You know, I, you know, it's it's, it's actually yeah. a beautiful path. You know, what's gonna happen? So you <laughs> got it without you struggling. Nothing. You know, it's good to struggle. Go like, but it did. Oh no, but it did. But I did it and struggle and get it right. That's how you get it right. How do you get it right yes. without you struggling? Yes. You need to play this thing and make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> you know, mistakes are good. Right. And uh, that's how you recognize mm. what is good, what is wrong. How you recognize the good if you never made it wrong, you know? So mm. uh, I, I would just advise them to keep doing it. Keep doing it until you win. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Be here till yeah. you win. Win it, you know? <laughs> and music is such a beautiful... Uh, 
man, we blessed to be musicians, really. We really blessed to be musicians, yes. to be doing what we're doing, and uh, and uh, and the part of you know being a struggle. You know, it's not a struggle. It's a, it's a path. You know, we have to go through this path hmm. in order to reach uh, 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 the other path. And, Just as and you said, stopped. you have to choose whichever bumpy road you yeah. go down, right? And and, and, and if you think <laughs> yeah. you're going to reach a place where, oh, now I know it all or everything, now that will never happen with music, okay? Because uh, mm. music yes. is uh, it's a never-ending school. It's a hmm. never-ending school. You will always find something to learn. You know, first time I went to India, I never been in India. My very first time they took me to this classical concert. I just mm. felt like, whoa, oh, okay. <laughs> this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this path. You know, this, that's what, you, well, really, that's <laughs> right. what music is all about. You know? Yes. And, uh, yes. Yes. The more you know, less you know. The more you know, absolutely, less you know. I don't ever want to feel like, oh, I just reached the top of a mountain here of my um, hmm. yes because once you once you think like once you think as number one the only place to go when you're on the top of a mountain is down i don't want to go down <laughs> <laughs> so i want to be in the middle of a path here always climbing climbing i'm like you yeah, know the man. I'm with the oh, bike here. Man. I want to feel like I'm climbing, I'm climbing, I'm climbing all the time. You know, I'm not the last, Absolutely. but I'm in the middle of a pack. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Till you win. win. Till you right. win. Yeah, man. Richard, I'm from Minneapolis. I live in Minneapolis, the, the home of Prince. And Prince had this great quote where he said, "I've been to the top of the mountain. There's nothing there." Wow. And I love Ooh. that so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> and talk that I've been on top of a mountain. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's nothing there. That's true. And uh, right. And once you climb yeah. and when you climb to get to that top, remember when you're climbing, you meet a lot of people. You meet a lot of people. Mm, yeah. Hmm. On your way down, you meet the same people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, Richard Bona, what what a treat. Thank you. What Thank a treat, you. man. Thank you so much for spending time. The champion, the GOAT, amazing. Thanks. Mr. Richard Thanks, Bona, man, man, thank you so Thank much you for your time much. today. Thank you guys for yeah. listening.